Okay, so here we are with Buffy, Season 4, Episode 11, and this is where we get a little bit, um, I wouldn't say off track, because we're technically on the track that we're supposed to be on, but it's not every other um, episode right here. Um, so the last one was Buffy, Episode 10, this one's Buffy, Episode 11, and then the next one is Angel, Episode 10, and then Angel, Episode 11, and then I think we go back and forth for a couple of episodes, and then there's like... A couple more where they're like two and there might be one that's three and like yeah all that so um this one is one that's back to back Buffy um so the last episode of Buffy they defeated a couple of demons that were trying to take well they did they took everyone's voices away um and then they were gonna like harvest hearts and like do all this crazy stuff which they did with some people um and uh they ended up defeating them of course but um, Buffy and Riley ended up teaming up unknowingly and destroyed the voice box thing. And then everyone got their voices back. They defeated the demons. That's that. But at the end of the last episode, um, Angel and Buffy said that they needed to talk, obviously, because now they both saw each other fight. So now they know that something's up, but they haven't talked anything out yet. So... Hopefully we see them do that, and then I'm assuming it's probably going to be in this episode, but anyway, yeah. So, uh, I think that's pretty much it. What happened in the last Oh, no, we did meet, we finally met Tara, um, and like I said, that was one of the very few spoilers that I knew of before watching this show, um, was that Willow and Tara were a couple, so we finally met Tara in the last episode, um, and... She's a witch. I mean, that's all that we really know about her right now. Um, but yeah. Anywho. Uh, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next ones, please feel free to check out my Patreon and the link in the description below. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this episode. Oh, we're picking up right where we left off. Good. What are you? Capricorn on the cusp of Aquarius, you? Sorry. I came out a little blunter than I intended. The rest, uh, what I do, I can't tell you. I'm a demon hunter. Well, she can't tell you her thing either. Well, then let me. You're part of some military monster squad that captures demons, vampires, probably have some official sounding euphemisms for them who perform experiments on them, which, among other things, turn some into harmless little bunnies. Mm -hmm. How am I doing so far? A little exactly. too well. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. by day, you pretend to be Riley Finn, corn-fed Iowa boy. I'm the Slayer. The what? Slayer. Yeah, Chosen one. Know. She who hangs out a lot in cemeteries? You're kidding. I mean, I have bruises. Mm. I don't see a scratch on you. You're not looking hard enough. I'm looking pretty hard. She does have that one scar thing from Angel. I think we both need a little time to process Figure everything. This out. Maybe then. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. It'll be safe for all. The rat. <laughs> oh, that earthquake over here. Wow, that was some ride. It's funny how Amy knew about it before they did, or before it Sorry, happened. Sorry, I'm so excited. I mean, it's my first earthquake. It's not mine. Oh, shit, when's the last time that they had one? I'm trying to remember what happened the last time that there was an earthquake. Didn't something, like, bust out of the, the ground? Oh, so he's flat out in the intro now. Was he in the last intro? Is that why it looked different? I wasn't quite paying attention in the last intro. When you're done fixing that leak, try cleaning up this mess. And doing a little laundry for once wouldn't kill you. Unfortunately. I love how he's like absolutely no threat now. 
Riley's, um, busy, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, you go on ahead and I'll catch up. She's not even going to tell Willow about it? I know she said I'm not going to tell anybody about it, but Willow doesn't really count, right? Anything wrong? Wrong? No. Mm -mm. Not at all. The last time we had an earthquake, I died. Yes, I know that, and uh, therefore I completely understand your anxiety. Oh, the master. Because I'd hate for my little untimely, horrible death concern to be ambiguous. But unless evidence suggests otherwise, I think we can assume that it's shifting land masses and not a portent of some imminent doom. You know it meantime, is, given this show. I've got a few theories about our mysterious commando friends. Now, I believe the commando sure installation that? is either very close to or directly underneath your school. Now, if that is the case, I'm convinced that That's one or more of them may Spike be said. in your very midst. Plague. What? What if the end of the world is coming in the form of a plague? Then too many people may be infected by the time we actually Buffy. decide to... So it's going to escape and they help from the Slayer. Really, dude? How's Oz? Oh, actually, Oz... Um, listen, we're gonna go get some drinks. Uh, cool to see you. Bye. Yeah, catch you later. Who's that bitch? Yeah. Are you guys serious about Naked Limbo? I'm in. Naked Limbo? Yeah, right. She's just some egghead who tutored me a little in high school. I mean, she's nice, but oh. come on. Captain of the Nerd Squad. Well, I don't know. Maybe you have a thing for geeks. Uh, no. I like my women hot. Call me old-fashioned. She at? Oh. <laughs> That's like a witchy thing. What Spike, happened? what is it? What happened? Don't look at me. What? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I shrunk them. There was so much blood. And, and there, there was a symbol. And Percy said I was a nerd. Percy called you a nerd? I don't think it's a should... bad thing, but the way Which he put it was definitely a bad thing. And... I haven't been a nerd for a very long time. Hello, dating a guitarist. Or I was. Well, she did. Tell them about the symbol. Right. Um, it was carved into his chest, like a big creepy eye. It's, it's like... It's the end of the world. Mm-hmm. Again? Again? It's, um, <laughs> Again. the earthquake. That symbol is, um... I told you. I said well, She the did. World, and you're like, poo-poo, Southern California, poo-poo. I'm so very sorry. I wonder where I've seen this before. Where else? Place I spend most of my waking hours memorizing stuff off the sides of mausoleums. Big mm. freaky cereal boxes. And in sewers. Oh. That had to hurt, even for her. Is that Riley? Yep. Wow, that flippy thing that you did was... Where did it go? It's gone. I saw it take off toward the woods. And you didn't follow it? No weapons, no backup. You don't go after a demon that size by yourself. Well, she could. I do. You don't know what my life is like. And I'm dying to find out. Dying being the operative word here. Okay, there's too much risk. There is too much... It's just doomed. Yeah, but and he can take care I of himself, I can't do though. doomed again right now. He's not That's quite normal. I don't understand where this is coming from. I don't know what's happened in your past. Pain. Death. Apocalypse. None of it fun. Mm. Do you know what a hell mouth is? Yeah, but she shouldn't have a fancy term from for it. Trying Because I went to, to high school on with it someone for three years. For being happy. There's no pattern that we can discern yet. So we've got to assume it's on a basic kill, crush, destroy. The thing isn't digging up the bones of a child for fun. Well, a demon's got some pretty hilarious ideas about fun. The 
bones of a yeah, child, though. I saw that. Is that something to do with, like, a spell? Three people are gonna die? No, they won't. Because Clawboy is not getting all of his ingredients. We have to find that third one, the word of values. Keep him from getting it. If he doesn't already have it. Yeah, but I wonder what it is. See you in hell. What are you doing? Now you're rough. Can't a person knock? What are you doing? You were trying to stake yourself. Mm -hmm. Fag off. Stuck in this basement washing skivvies for a blighter I wouldn't have bothered to bite a few months ago. Hey. I mean, am I even remotely scary anymore? No. Tell me the truth. But that's mainly because of the outfit. <laughs> well, the, the shirt is kind of not very mm -hmm. threatening. And... Think of the happy. If we don't find what we're looking for, we're facing an apocalypse. Really? You're not just saying that? <laughs> I love Spike. And, uh takes trace readings of the creature's pheromones. And? And it's either mating season for Why this thing Why don't they work together? It's moving all over town. Which is why we can't do it, the you and me thing. No, I mean you're stupid. Oh, shit. I mean, I don't mean that. This doom and gloom mentality. You keep thinking like that, and things are probably going to turn out just the way you expect. You know, there's nothing more dangerous mm -hmm. than a psych grad student. I mean, you're a, a fry cook, and so am I. Yes, but you're an amateur fry cook, and I come from a long line of fry cooks. See, who don't live past 25. Which is exactly the, the is, attitude I'm like, talking about. like, he knows know not to talk about that shit, like, out and about. I also about. know it's more rewarding than any other job on the planet. And fun. fun. He's the only one that really does that. The last person I know that believed that is in a coma right now because she had so much fun on the job. But this isn't the kind of gig where you can just hang it up at the end of the night and snuggle with your honey. But why? Why can't it be? Because I tried it, okay? And every time, it just fell apart. And then I get sucked right back into the uber evil. Well, welcome to the story yeah, of the world. Yeah, but also, Angel is a apart, very specific puppy. type of evil, situation. It comes and goes. But the way people manage is, they don't do it alone. They pull each other through. If you weren't so self-involved, you'd see that. Ooh. I know that it's not just the job thing. I'm sure that there's some good-looking guy who done you wrong in there, too. But mm -hmm. mostly, I think you want to stay down in the dark place. A couple of them, actually. Because maybe it's safer down there. I just don't want pity from geeks more useless than I am. We're not useless. We, we help people. We, we fight the forces of evil. Buffy fights the forces of evil. You're her groupies. Mm. She'd do just as well without sidekick, you. But... Better, I'd wager, since she wouldn't have to go about saving your hides all the time. That is so not true. We're part of the team. She needs us. Or and, uh... you're just the same 10th grade losers you've always been. And she's too much of a softy to cut you loose. Oh, he's got it. Is it just the object that they're looking for? Or... Oh, shit. What happened? It's my fault. I should have oh, known. Oh, shit. Giles. The word of values is the name of a talisman, not a book. I blame and myself had entirely. It. I had, had it here. You had it here? Okay, first I thought you were being too hard on yourself, but... Oh, thank you. They're going to open the Hellmouth. In the old library? The library. Look at that place. I'm not even going to bother to, like, place the lid or fix stable. it. OK, when we get to the library, keep a lookout for victims that are keeping alive for the sacrifice. Getting them out is the first priority. Will do. I thought they already had their other sacrifices. Or maybe, OK, so they need sacrifices, but I thought that they were talking about the blood of the man that they already got and the kid bones. But I guess they need three separate other sacrifices. It must be around here somewhere. The ritual's not finished. Is it's it a self-sacrifice thing? Like, do they need to sacrifice themselves? And her, like, basically defeating them will bring apart the apocalypse and open Hellmouth? Because there just so happens to be the three of them. 
Okay, I guess I won. No, they're the they're the three sacrifices. The demons! They are the sacrifice! Yeah. No pain. Yeah, demons don't count. I figured that that's what it was. I could hurt that demon. Oh, but don't keep them in the thing. That's right. I'm back, and I'm a bloody animal. Yeah. Don't no. throw them in there. Spike don't throw the them hole. in there. All right. Well, now there's one What? I was helping. <laughs> Pushing him closer into the hole. You're coming back out. It's probably not long enough. Can she at least get the talisman? But surely she didn't catch the demon. Oh, she sure did. How did he pull up her and the demon? Yeah, I was just passing by, and I thought I heard people inside. You were just passing Wearing by? Wearing a military outfit. G.I. Joe outfit? I know, I was gonna say something about him being, like, G.I. Joe, No offense, but... but you do look wicked conspicuous. I do? Uh, paintball. Yeah, I was, I was playing paintball, and then the aftershock, and I... So you're one of the commando guys, huh? Oh, no, 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 no. Commando, no, I mean... Mm-hmm. They already know, man. Do I know you? Me? No. Huh. No, sir. I'm just an no. old pal of Xander's here. <laughs> What's the accent That's he's nice. trying to do? I can't believe you didn't recognize Spike. The last night with your friends was a disaster. I mean, could I have been less convincing? I was trained to be mm. sneaky and stuff, and I'm like, hi, paintball, just passing by. <laughs> I should have just given him my security code and rank. Do you have a security code and rank? Uh, no. no. Did I just say <laughs> This is so not good. How cute. For justice and for the safety of puppies and Christmas, right? Let's fight that evil. Let's kill some. I like how he basically switched sides. Oh, come on. This was a good episode. So we have, so Riley and Buffy are, I guess now officially together. Um, and then Spike switched sides. I figured, I, what did it, what was it? Um, I don't think it was the last episode, but it was like a couple episodes ago or something. And I was like, well, wait, I don't think demons probably count because um, they, I think they had slightly, like someone threw in there, like one of the military guys or the, the lab coat guys or whatever. And they were like, well, he can't like harm innocence. So I took that as like, oh, then he can probably harm demons. So um yeah i guess it, he just didn't know about it till now so anyway yeah and it was cool seeing the old high school i didn't think that the whole high school went up in flames just like the library but yeah because i was i uh, thinking in the first episode like well like maybe once they get the the library done like being built that uh they could probably put giles in as like a teacher or something but the whole damn school like is gone so, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, if you want to check out this episode completely unedited or get early access for the next one, please feel free to check out my Patreon in the link in the description below. And if you will for me, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.